gas prices are the most expensive in U.S. history, breaking the record from 2008. Now, after rising dramatically following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the gas prices have reached a record, topping a high that has stood for nearly 14 years. We all know what we're going through right now. We know gas is through the roof, all right? And it's all because of this damn war in another country that affects us. It's kind of crazy, right? So the previous high was four dollars and eleven cents back in 2008, and that was January or July 17 of 2008, according to AAA. That would be around five dollars and twenty-five cents in today's money through inflation. Now here in Las Vegas, I'm seeing gas prices around five ten to like five sixty or so. So I'd say the average for the Las Vegas Valley right now is about five dollars and thirty cents. When I started door dashing a year ago, I started in January of last year. And it was probably about $3 and I think it was like $3.12, $3.19, right in that. Let's just call it $3 is probably where I started at in driving. So with everybody being so angry and mad about gas and, and Reddit blowing up and saying, well, we no longer want to drive for DoorDash anymore and a lot of people are quitting, I really was boggling my mind thinking, well, how much money is this raise really affecting us as drivers or gig economy drivers where we go out there and we use our gas to make more money we're not really trading our hours like a typical w-2 person would when they go to work trade their time and then get their paycheck if they need more money they have to do something called overtime if we want more money we just have to do something called more deliveries right so I was thinking, is, is this really affecting us? Is it really putting a crunch on the gig economy drivers? And are we really losing a lot of money? So I put together a little spreadsheet. So let's jump into the spreadsheet here. And this is what I'm looking at. So this is the gas increase per gallon for Las Vegas, right? And I set this at a starting pay placement of $3.69. Now I drive a 2011 Chevy Malibu and the gas capacity for that tank is 16 gallons. So if I was to pay $3.69 times 16 gallons, for me to top off my tank, it would cost me $59.04 if it was $3.69, right? So this is approximately what I was paying when I first started driving into DoorDash and what my gas charge or what it was for me to fill up my tank to drive for a day or two days on this tank because I generally only drive about half a tank of gas per day. So... I can also make about $400, maybe a little more. I'd say not little less than that. It's generally right at 400 or more that I can make off of one tank of gas, right? So if I was to put $59.04 into my gas tank, if you look here, $59.04, and if you subtract that from, if you subtract 59.04 from $400, that would give me an earnings or potential or average earnings per tank of $341. Right, cool, I make $341 by spending $59.04. Not too bad. I think that's great, right? So now we're in 2022 and it's March and everybody's shitting bricks because gas is five something dollars a gallon and it's the end of the effing world, right? So let's just look at the sheet and let's just go down, right? From, from 369 to 439, what I did is something called $10 more, right? To see when I was being charged $10 more on my gas tank and every single time I got charged $10 more to fill up my tank right so at $4.39 that was a $10 increase so now I had to pay $70.24 to fill up my tank which was $11.20 roughly increase from the 369 for a full tank that still nets me or makes me a profit an average profit here it's not exact right of $330 by spending $70 that's still a that's, that's a good trade for me. If I was to hand somebody $70 today and they came back to me tomorrow and said, here's 400, 330, or really they'd be handing me 400. Well, fuck, that's pretty damn good. If you learn how to take $1 and turn it into three and you could just do that infinitely, we would all be billionaires right now. Would you not? So let's continue this on, right? Gas now reaches $4.99, right? It's the highest we've ever seen. It's breaking that $5 mark and oh no, we're all going to shit our pants, right? Well, for me, it's only a $20 increase from what I typically was putting into my gas tank. So now my earnings go from $341, what I was earning, to $3 to $320 per tank. I'm still making $320 per gas tank. I would like to ask the community that gets pissed off, like you Reddit people, is what is your dollar amount? How what is the rate before it's not good for you? Because it really seems like Every single delivery is not good for majority of the people bitching on Reddit, right? 
Okay, let's just let's keep going. Let's let's trail this a little bit deeper. If we got this to five dollars and fifty nine cents, which I know some of you playing at paying out in California, you're paying six dollars a gallon or something like that, right? But you guys also have a cost of living that's different than out here in Nevada or Las Vegas. It's all relative to what state you live in or what part of the country that you reside on, right? So even if gas raised to five dollars and fifty nine cents here in Las Vegas, and I had to pay that to go drive for DoorDash. It's a $30.40 increase from what I was normally paying, which still $30.40 to me, I blow on it on chilies to go drink a beer and, and eat a cheeseburger, right? So to me, $30.40 is nothing. If you're getting, if you're broke over $30.40, you probably should reevaluate what type of job you're choosing and maybe reevaluate the decisions you're making in life also, because if you're that, that much of a crunch in life, you're doing something wrong you shouldn't be right this whole entire world is prospering there's just infinite money being created you shouldn't be left behind right now and if you're left behind you start using your noodle right let's go to six dollars and 19 cents right if this thing busts over and we break the six dollar bubble well then i'll have to pay forty dollars more per tank than i normally was paying right that brings me up to ninety nine dollars and four cents a tank let's just call it a hundred dollars for me to fill my tank up well if i hand $100 to the gas station, and then I go drive for DoorDash for two days, I'm still going to make $301 profit off of that $100, all right? Still not too bad right there. Let's take this a step farther, and let's just go to the $7 range. Let's just go to the 10s, right? So if we had to increase it to $50 more, it'd be $110 per tank. It'd be a $51 increase from what we're averagely paying from when I first started, and I'd still make $290 a tank. Even if they raise gas to $7.50, it's going to cost me $120 to fill my tank. It's a $60 raise from what I'm averagely paying, or when we say what is average. You know, what is average? Your parents, if you're if they were born in the in the 50s and 60s, they used to buy candy bars for like 10 or 15 cents. You ever heard of a candy bar for 15 cents at the store? Come on. Let's blow this all the way to $8.69, right? So if we somehow get to $8.69, which looks like it'd be kind of like a worst case scenario is what we're pushing to. It would be $140 for me to top my tank off. It would be an $80 increase from what I was paying at $3.69, and I would still make $261 delivering. $261 is still profit. Like I said, if you learned how to take $1 and turn it into three, and you knew you could do it every single day, would you not just infinitely go do that? It's pretty damn simple. Oh, but Richard, what about the wear and tear and all your taxes and all that bullshit? Listen, for me, it takes me about 50 bucks to change my oil. I change my my oil every month, right? So there's $50 there. And people are like, oh, but what are you about your brake pads? Your rotors look like shit, Richard. So you're going to have to constantly be throwing brakes in there. Okay, brakes are like 50 bucks too, right? So 100 bucks. Let's say I did it every single month, right? Which I'm not going to change my brakes every single month. That would be a little redundant, right? It's cost me $100 maintenance for my car. My car's paid off. I don't really have to worry about my car, right? I paid for my car like 15 times over. I got that car in like 2014. I've had the car for almost 10 years. You know, I got it when it was almost brand new at 11,000 miles, and I'm up to 113,000 miles right now. And when I started driving for DoorDash, I said, bye-bye car. I kissed that car goodbye. I'm just going to drive that car into the ground and get as many dollars out of it as I can before I need to go buy a new car. Let's run worst case scenario. Oh my God, America's charging $10 per fucking gallon of gas. For me to fill up my gas tank, well, it would be a $100 increase from what I'm typically paying at $3.69 or when I was paying at $3.69. It's a, where did I go here? It's a, a hundred, $100 increase, right? So it'd be 160 bucks to top off my tank and I'm still going to make $240 off that gas tank, right? Okay, let's, let's go even farther. Like let's really bend it, right? So $15, like America's gone crazy. There's nuclear missiles in the fucking air at this point, and everybody thinks they're going to die, right? So gas is $15 a gallon. If the economy was even at $15 a gallon at this point, this, the hysteria and the mindset of the world would be completely different, and the narrative would be different than 4 or $5 per gallon gas. I hope you guys are kind of catching that, right? So even if it was $15 a gallon, it cost me 240 bucks to top my tank off, and I'd still bring home 160 bucks in two days of driving off a of DoorDash. That's 80 bucks a day. Yeah, that's shitty. But I still only made $59 a day working as a general manager for U-Haul. So if I could still make $80 off DoorDash and I don't have to really do any responsibility work where I'm dealing with someone else other than myself and maybe a fast food worker, which is dead fucking simple to do, I would still go do that. And I would create some other side hustle also. 
and if they get if the gas got that high america would rearrange the way they did things and the way commerce was done at 15 dollars a gallon right let's just go even farther let's go 20 dollars a gallon oh my god we got to drop a whole dub just to go put a gallon of gas in our fucking tank right it's going to cost me 320 dollars to fill up my gas tank and i'm still going to make 80 dollars well if that situation would happen i'll tell you i'll still be here on youtube i'll still be making the videos and i'll be that handful selection of people five or 15 or 100 people in america that are still driving for the gig economy people and we're still making it work while everybody else is sitting in fear and anger on their couch eating cheetos pissed off wearing why they're wondering why they're broke and they don't have anything in their life that went a little negative didn't it it's okay you guys are you guys are great you guys aren't never going to have that you guys are always going to be wealth and prosperity and whatnot you know that's why you watch these videos because you want more out of your life now if gas went to $25 a gallon, well, we're fucked, okay? At that point, it's <laughs> it's going to cost $400 to fill up the tank, and we're going to make $400, and we're going to break even. So at that point, maybe I'd be dropping off people's food saying, hey, maybe could you feed me because I'm not going to make any money doing this. So with that being said, and all of that data right there, I really don't understand why everybody is in such a hysteria at just 5 or $6 a gallon. Because... Even if I paid five fifty nine a gallon right now, which I'm not, I'm paying like five ten, five twenty a gallon right now. I'm only paying twenty four to twenty five more dollars than what I normally paid, and what's normal? What's norm normalcy, right? Than what I was paying a year ago. We can't we can't keep looking at life of what we did one year ago. If you keep living in the past, you keep recreating that for the future. You know, you can't recreate a five cent candy bar that you used to buy when you were five years old when it was 1954. Like, you know, that shit doesn't exist anymore. People need to get the same picture with gas. Everything in the world inflates. And if you're running out of money, well, then you need to change your mindset and start thinking for the future on how you can benefit for what's going on and prosper as everything changes. So I hope that maybe gives you guys a little bit of more motivation or uh, enlightens you a little bit that it's really not that big of a crunch and if you're really worried about $24 and the gas is this big of an issue for you maybe you should just sit back for a second and just reevaluate and think that you know $24 in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of money and if $24 is breaking you per paycheck right now it's time for you to start looking for better work that's all that's all it comes down to I'm not trying to be rude not trying to be an asshole to anybody but I'm just trying to give you the plain you know the plain Jane on how it is if you need more money then go get a fucking better job. If, if DoorDash isn't going to work for you, well, then go work somewhere that's going to work for you, right? This is mainly for those people out on Reddit that are probably going to watch this video. So I hope you guys are smashing it out there. I hope you guys are getting your daily DoorCash because DoorDash is, is still great and the customers are still going to pay you. There's good people out there that want to tip you and want to make sure that your delivery is paid for and your service is, is well... Um, I can't think of the words, but you know, you're well compensated for your service that you're giving to these people, right? So for me, DoorDash doesn't seem that crazy. I mean, I'm looking at this chart. I mean, I don't even care if, if, if it goes up to $8.89 because I'm still making $258 per gas tank. And to me, to make $258 per gas tank, I can make that in two days. That would be two days of driving. You know, that puts me at 125 bucks a day. Like I said, I used to work as a general manager at U-Haul, and I could only make $59 a day working a salary at 30 k a year, just getting getting raped by that company. So I can make a lot more money doing DoorDash, and it's a lot less stress-free. It's a lot more open, and we get to enjoy ourselves and actually like use our own thoughts and think for ourselves when we're doing DoorDash, which is nice and a good change from listening to someone at a W-2 to say, you need to do that, and you need to do that, and you need to do that. And once you've done all of those things, that same manager comes back to you and says, well, I think you underperformed and I'd expect more out of you next time. Yet, your paycheck never changed. What's good about DoorDash is if you want to go do 15 more deliveries tonight, I can guarantee fucking tea your paycheck just changed by 10 or 15 more deliveries profit into your fucking pocket. So, you guys take it easy. I know that was a long-winded one, 14-something minutes long, but I hope this gives you guys um, a little bit more security in knowing that gas really isn't that big of a thing. Don't make it that big of a thing. When you make things huge in your life they start to really really compound in your life so if you look at gas as something that's just minute something you have to take care of always it's something that you've always paid it's something that we have always paid and all have companies have always paid since the inception of the, the locomotive fucking engine right well that's all i'm going to say with that one you guys take care of yourselves i hope you catch you guys are going to catch the next video which i literally am on my doordash right now so i'm going to close this one out oh they got me on a pause
So I'm going to close this one out. You can see if you watch this video, then you get a sneak peek. I only made $74. Oh, come on. I made $74.30 and I only drove less than a quarter tank of gas, right? So I was at full and I'm just right above three quarters. It's the way you want to look at that. And I still made 75 bucks, you know, so if I went out there, I could make another 25 bucks and I'd probably be right at a quarter tank of gas burned, which is, that's my average. I make about 400 bucks per tank of gas. What are your guys' averages? What do you guys make out there? What is your guys' average per gallon? Mine's 18 miles per gallon. How old's your car? How, how young is your car? What's your attitude towards DoorDash? And not even DoorDash, really. What's your attitude towards all of this gas and how you're gonna push forward for the next few months? You just gotta look at everything as waves. Things go up and they come down and they go up and they come down. Right now, if you wanna look at the gasoline business as being the assholes who are taking advantage of everybody, well, they're winning right now. They're on the up. But there's multiple times that they've been on the bottom and we've been buying gas at $1.80 a gallon or two forty dollars a gallon or whatever it was. On that side, then we were winning. So you just got to imagine, which side do you guys play on? I like to play on the positive side. And I'll always be on the positive side because that's the side where everybody is happy. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.